Do you want to save all your contact form 7 submissions to your WordPress database as a backup in case the emails don't reach you? It's a smart plan and it's easy to do. Watch this video to the end and I'll show you how to do it. Hi, my name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Now let's get started. Here's an example of a message that's been stored in the WordPress site. It was also sent to me via email. If we click on view for the message, we see information about this person and what they filled in in the contact form. This works for all of your contact seven contact forms, no matter how many you have on your website. And down here is more information about this user. And if you want this functionality on your website, all you have to do is go to plugins and then add new plugin. Once we're on this page, look up Flamingo. Catchy name, should be easy to remember. And this plugin is created by the creator of Contact Form 7. Here's Contact Form 7. Takeyuki Miyoshi made it, same creator for Flamingo. It's compatible with the current version of WordPress, has four to five stars, same as Contact Form 7, but still pretty solid. 800,000 plus active installs and to get this running on our site, all we have to do is click on install now. I'm installing this on a test site. If you want to be safe, you might want to back up your site first before you install any plugins. If you need help with that, I've got a tutorial in the description down below that will hook you up with how to back up your site and restore it if something goes wrong. Activate it once it's installed. And now all we have to do is head out to our site, fill in our contact form, send it, by clicking submit, head back into our dashboard under, or sorry, over the contact form seven link, we now have a Flamingo link. And Flamingo has two sections. One is the address book, one is inbound messages. The address book is a list of all the people who've submitted messages. So it's just basically the contact information. So we have Bjorn at WP Learning Lab, Bjorn, and what that user's done, i.e. the pages they visited. If we click on edit, it just has this information, nothing special going on. Under tags, we can apply a tag and then that will show up in the tag list here. We can click on the tag list and it shows all the people who have that same tag. So you can organize your address book in that fashion. Under inbound messages is the point of this video. This is the actual message that was sent in. If we click on view, we see the message data right here, but we also see a lot of metadata down below. All that information might be useful for you, or it might not, but at least it's there. And you also receive this message in your email inbox. And here's that message in our inbox right here. I view using this kind of tool like Flamingo more as a backup and a, a matter of convenience because you can see all these things in your WordPress dashboard if you're working in there at the time. But it's more of a backup for when emails don't get through, which happens, or if they go to spam, or if they delete it accidentally, you have a backup list of emails on your site, which you can see right here. And while you're here, I thought you might wanna know about the completely free Ultimate 17 Point WordPress Launch Checklist. It is a checklist, a detailed checklist of all the things that you need to do or should do before you launch a WordPress site, written by me, someone who's launched thousands of websites over the years. This is a checklist I created almost 10 years ago and it's been downloaded at least 100,000 times. I haven't checked the stats lately, but it was over 100,000 a few months ago. It is a checklist of what you go through before you launch a website. And there's two versions of it. There's this version here. It includes videos and includes links to other resources. So it really takes you through the steps you need to take to launch your website in a nice format, like you see here. And we also have a print-friendly version over here. So you can print it off. And this is a smart PDF. That means it will adjust to the size of your screen. For example, if you're on iPhone 12 Pro, see how it all adjusts to fit the smaller screen? It messes up the WordPress and the title up here. But everything else, it goes down to the smaller screen. What if you have a Galaxy Fold? It'll look like this or at least pretty close to what this is. Unlike other PDFs that don't shrink, that are a real pain to look at when they're shrunk down. And the, the uh, print friendly version works the same way if you want just black and white. And they're also downloadable. Click on the little download button and you download the PDF to your computer. The benefit of the smart PDF as well is when I update it, you will get the updates instantly. So you can get this just by opting in with your name and email address on the page that I've linked to in the description down below. You get this totally for free. And when you download it, you'll have the current version of it, 
But then if I update it in the future, this smart PDF at this URL will be updated with the new content that you can come back and download it again. So I recommend when you opt in that you bookmark this page so you can save it for future reference. And every few months, I don't update it every week, but every few months or so, come in here, check if there's some changes, download the new version, and you're good to go. So if you wanna join over 100,000 fellow WordPress users and get this PDF checklist for yourself, do so now. There's a link down in the description. All you have to do is enter your name and email, and I will send you emails. Most of those emails are just about videos I've published on my various channels. Sometimes I send you offers for stuff you might be interested in, mostly uh, WordPress courses and stuff that I offer myself. And it's no big deal. You can unsubscribe at any time and then keep this checklist forever anyway. Page, on there you enter your name and email, and I will send you the PDF in your email. And it also takes you to a thank you page after you opt in where you can download it and access it directly from that page. If you want to make sure only humans and not bots are filling out your contact form 7 forms, then check out this video right up here on how to install the recapture plugin for your contact form 7 forms. It's super easy to do. This video right here will show you how. Right up here. Right in this general location here. Go ahead, click it. I'll wait. I'm pretty patient. Right up there.